Hello to everyone out there in YouTube land. My name is Brad Hensley, and yes, that is my real name, not a YouTube subscriber name that I've come up with. Okay. The reason I am making this video is very, very simple. I am an ex-Special Forces officer. Well, I was actually a sergeant, but I was an ex-Special I was in the Special Forces Army. And I am making this video because of the state of decline that this country has went to in the recent years. This country has started to take away our very fundamental constitutional rights. These are rights that everybody, every American has. Whether they are a legalized citizen, meaning a legal, you know, an, Ill, an immigrant that came over here legally and was made a citizen, or whether they were born a sit in this country, which automatically makes them a citizen of the United States of America. I, uh, they are slowly but surely eroding away our rights. They have started with the Patriot Act, which started to erode away our fundamental rights of privacy. Now, Obama, and I call this through friends of mine that can back this up, when he was in office the first time, when he ran, before he ran, when he was running for office the first time, when he ran for office this time, I called this. Okay? He is trying to take away a second amendment to the Bill of Rights, which is, consequently, what was helped to lay down, which was laid down right after our Constitution, uh, and it states that every man or every man has the right to bear arms, to protect his home, or in case of an emergency, or in case of the country going in a way that's other than democratic, such as fascism, socialism, communistic, dictatorship, whatever they want to call it, the New World Order, whatever. Okay. That we can own arms, and if we see this country going in the way that it is going now, then we, as citizens of the United States of America, have a right, no, scratch that, we have an obligation, and we have, what would be the word, Not a, ah, we have a demand by this country, and by our forefathers, to fight back against the very government that is trying to enslave us, the very government that is trying to take away our rights. Alright, I'm not making this video to say this because of the fact that our president is black. I don't care. Alright, I am doing this and making this video because I feel very strongly that they are trying to take away not only our fundamental constitutional rights, but they are also trying to set us up for a dictatorship or communism or socialism. Alright, they've already started this with the quote-unquote healthcare reform, which they made social, okay, they demanded everybody has to have healthcare, uh, everybody has to have these little healthcare things, be it Dallas or CDP, HP, or whatever, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, whatever, okay, the point is this, under Obama, under this president, this country has become more socialistic, more communistic than under any president in the history of our nation. More has been done to kill this country under this president than ever before. Alright? We as Americans need to stand up, take arms, and tell them, knock it off. It ain't happening anymore. You work for us. This country is for the people. States in our constitution. We 
the people. Alright. This country was set up so that the government would have to listen to us. Us, the people. We don't have to listen to them. We don't have to do what the government always says. We can change who's in government by simply getting out and voting. Or if need be, a revolution, a civil war, again. DHSA, the DHS has already stated that a civil war is coming. Alright. Well, I say this to all my true blue American brothers and sisters. It's time. Wake up. It's time. Wake up. See what this government has done in our name. It is taking our country. It is trying to take our rights. It is trying to take our constitutional rights away. And next, it will take our inalienable rights away. Do you know that for 100 miles all around this country, 100 miles from the border all the way around the country uh, we have what is called a constitution free zone okay and you can look into that by simply typing up www.constitutional free zone or just typing in constitutional free zone and it will show you uh, Everything that I'm saying here, you can back can be backed up. You can either listen, you can either go and listen to the Alex uh, Jones on YouTube. You can find him. He's smart. He gets a lot of ideas. So uh, and that's why I got some of my ideas. I ain't gonna lie. Or you can go to TrueTV.com and look for Jesse Ventura conspiracy theory. Or you can just open your eyes and look on the internet. Research, people. Research. It's all about looking and seeing and questioning what they're doing in the name of us, the people. Uh, it's the Constitution states uh, that this country is founded on the principles of liberty, justice for everyone. Not just for a select few. But for everyone, man, woman, rich, poor, black, white, yellow, orange, polka dots. It don't matter. Uh, a Fourth Amendment states uh, that they cannot search our property or person without probable cause and a search warrant you have to first have probable cause which they can then take to a judge and get a search warrant without those they cannot search our vehicles they cannot search our persons they cannot search our homes no matter what even if you're on section 8 that still applies it's our fourth amendment in the Bill of Rights. It states that they cannot sit there and illegally search us. It stops them from any and all illegal searches and seizures. It states that man is to, is to be safe and secure in his own home without fear of illegal search and seizures. Alright, uh, these roadblocks they're setting up everywhere, asking you for identification to see if you're an American or not. That's what they did in Germany. That's what they did in Russia when it was communism. That's what they did in Germany under Hitler, Nazism. That's not the America I fought for. That's not the America that I believe in. Now I'm going to say this. Please, research everything I've said. Look into what the government is trying to do in our name. Please, 
And if you like this, subscribe. Because I can guarantee you, there will be more and more of these to follow in the weeks ahead and in the months ahead. The only reason it will stop me from making these is if I am in the hospital or if I have went to jail for what I believe. Okay? Or if for some reason they try to take down the whole internet, well then of course it's gone. But until then, I will stay on the air and I will continue to make these. Okay? We can peacefully make war. It's what Gandhi wanted. It's what Malcolm X was talking about. It's what even Martin Luther King was talking about. Alright. And it's the true meaning of Falajad. Alright. Holy war. It's the true meaning of Falajad. A holy war. A peaceful demonstration. Where if they try to take you, go limp. Make them have to carry around however much you weigh. Dead body. Basically. You don't move. You don't offer any resistance, and you don't move either. Alright. You just go limp. Okay? If this form of protest doesn't work, well, then stronger measures may be needed. But I would first love to see this country changed through nonviolent protests. I'm not a terrorist in any way. I'm a true blue American who believes in the Constitution, in the country that our forefathers fought for. That's all I am. An American who knows his rights, believes in the country that our forefathers fought for and died for. And I believe in our free America. Not one run by everyone else. Not one where recession is started by its own government. Because they want to push all this extra money into the economy when this country was actually flush. Until Obama got into office. Then all that flush money we had, he gave to everybody. And put us into trillions of dollars of debt. In four years we went from being flush. To being in a debt of over 19 trillion dollars. Go figure. Alright. If you like it, subscribe. Otherwise, don't. But please, America, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Do your own research and see if everything I have said is not true. Thank you and may God bless a free America.